In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the latest GPU from NVIDIA, the ERTX 2000, and why it's not your typical graphics card. This GPU is designed for small form factor workstations, and it offers a great balance of compact design and robust performance. It's also priced at $625, which is not too bad for what it offers. So if you're interested in learning more about this GPU, then keep watching this video till the end. Before we dive into the details, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload new videos every week about gaming news, reviews, tips, and more. Also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps me out a lot. And finally, let me know in the comments below what you think of the ERTX 2000, and if you would buy it or not. I'd love to hear your opinions and thoughts. All right, let's get started. In this video, we're gonna cover the following topics, the design and physical attributes of the RTX 2000, the memory and cores of the RTX 2000, the power and performance of the RTX 2000, the price and availability of the RTX 2000, First thing you'll notice about the ERTX 2000 is its compact and sleek design. The GPU is only 6.6 .6 inches long and it fits into a single slot CA Gen 4 8X connection. This means that it can fit into most small form factor cases and it doesn't take up much space or power. The GPU also supports four MDP 1.4 display outputs, which is great for multi-monitor setups. The GPU has a black and silver color scheme with a green video logo on the side. It also has a fan and a heatsink to keep it cool and quiet. The ERTX 2000 is not only small, but also sturdy and reliable. It has a metal backplate and a metal bracket, which add rigidity and durability to the GPU. It also has ECC memory, which stands for error correcting code. This means that the GPU can detect and correct errors in the data and prevent crashes or glitches. This is especially important for professional and creative work, where accuracy and stability are essential. The RTX 2000 has a whopping 16 GB of GDDR6 memory, which is twice as much as the previous generation RTX A2012 GB. This means that the GPU can handle more complex and high-resolution applications, such as 3D rendering, video editing, and AI inference. The memory also has a bandwidth of 256 GB per second, which is fast enough to transfer large amounts of data quickly and smoothly. The RTX 2000 also has a lot of cores, which are the units that process the data and perform the calculations. The GPU has 2816 CUDA cores, which are the general purpose cores that handle the graphics and compute tasks. The GPU also has 88 tensor cores, which are the specialized cores that handle the AI and deep learning tasks. And finally, the GPU has 22 RT cores, which are the dedicated cores that handle the ray tracing tasks. Ray tracing is a technique that simulates realistic lighting and shadows in 3D scenes, and it makes the graphics look more lifelike and immersive. The ERTX 2000 is a powerful and efficient GPU that can deliver impressive performance for a variety of tasks. According to NVIDIA, the GPU can achieve 12.0 teraflops of single precision performance, which is a measure of how fast the GPU can perform basic arithmetic operation. This is 1.5 times faster than the ERTX A2012 GB and it makes the GPU a formidable tool for gaming, rendering, and simulation. The GPU can also achieve 30.0 teraflops of mixed precision performance which is a measure of how fast the GPU can perform mixed arithmetic operations, such as half precision and integer. This is 1.8 times faster than the ERT XA2012 GB, and it makes the GPU a powerful tool for AI and deep learning. The GPU can also support features such as DLSS, which stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. This is a technique that uses AI to upscale the resolution and improve the image quality while maintaining or boosting the frame rate. The GPU can also achieve 24.0 RT teraflops of ray tracing performance, which is a measure of how fast the GPU can perform ray tracing operation. This is 2.3 times faster 
than the ERT XA 2012 GB, and it makes the GPU a capable tool for creating realistic and stunning graphics. The GPU can also support features such as NVIDIA RTX IO, which is a technology that uses the GPU to accelerate the loading and streaming of game assets and reduce the CPU load and latency. The RTX 2000 is not only powerful, but also efficient. The GPU has a power consumption of only 70 watt, which is very low for a GPU of this caliber. This means that the GPU can run on a standard power supply, and it doesn't generate much heat or noise. The GPU also uses a CI Gene 4 AX connection, which is half the bandwidth of a typical CI Gene 416 X connection. This means that the GPU can save power and space, and it doesn't need a lot of cables or slots. RTX 2000 is priced at $625, which is not too expensive for a GPU of this quality and performance. The GPU is cheaper than some of the other high-end GPUs from NVIDIA, such as the ERTX 3080 or the ERTX 3090, which cost $699 and $1,499, respectively. The GPU is also cheaper than some of the comparable GPUs from AMD, such as the Radeon Pro Double U6600 or the Radeon Pro U6800, which cost $649 and $999, respectively. The RTX 2000 is available now, and you can buy it from video website or from authorized partners. The GPU is compatible with most of the popular software and applications, such as Adobe Creative Cloud, Autodesk, Blender, DaVinci Resolve, Unreal Engine, and more. The GPU also comes with a three-year warranty and support from NVIDIA. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. What do you think of the ERTX 2000? Do you think it's worth buying? Would you use it for gaming or for work? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.